What's going on guys? Sam Adams here and welcome to On The Topic Of and today we're going to be talking about this box art right here which is going to be for the Bioshock collection which has been heavily rumored over the past couple of months and as you can imagine it includes Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite with all of the DLC packaged up for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. However, none of that has been confirmed. That's just what's been leaked through Brazilian ratings boards. However, none of that is specifically relevant to what I'm going to be talking about today because I am going to be talking about the box art for this Bioshock collection if it is in fact coming out and by all means this is some professional looking box art. The only thing I did to it was put it in the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One uh, template for what they use for box art and boom there it is. It looks very professional so I assume this is actually going to be a thing that is coming out. However, this box art did something that I did not think it would do and it actually got me excited for the collection coming out. Now this is coming from from a guy that has Bioshock Infinite and both Bioshock 1 and 2 on the PC, meaning that I could run it at max settings and pretty much get the same experience that the PlayStation 4 players and Xbox One players are going to be getting from this remastered collection. So you might be saying, why do you feel this way after, I mean, you've played all of the games, you know what it's about, you've had these experiences, why does this box art get you excited? And it's because that's what box art is made to do. Box art is literally the face of a game and the face of the Bioshock collection is absolutely gorgeous. This is a gorgeous face if you know what I'm saying. Uh, at the top you have the city of Columbia which is where Bioshock Infinite takes place. At the bottom you have the city of Rapture which is where the first two games take place and then right there in the middle you have the little teleportation island that you see at the beginning of Bioshock Infinite. I'm sure there's an official name for it to be honest with you I don't know it. But what this box art does is it literally shows you where you are going to be spending the entirety of your time within the game and for me Bioshock is primarily about exploring the surroundings because the cities are so beautiful Beautiful. Columbia, way up in the clouds, is such a majestic looking place. Rapture looks decrepit and old, but it still has this rustic 1940s and 50s feel to it. The atmosphere of all the Bioshock games is absolutely incredible, and it feels like this box art exemplifies that perfectly. So really, is there going to be any difference in the experience of playing through the collection or playing through all three older games and all the DLC for that on your console of choice from the last generation? Uh, probably not. It might look slightly better on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The performance might be a little bit smoother. I can go ahead and assume 60 frames a second. But other than that, is there really any difference? To be honest with you, no. However, this collection does a couple of things that I think are great for the Bioshock franchise. Number one, it gives us this beautiful box art. And I am a huge fan of box art like I just love it with the doom um, controversy a couple weeks ago I can't even begin to explain how happy I was whenever I heard that doom was going to have a reversible cover that's just the kind of thing that really gets me going uh, but that is number one number two is that this gives new players that are new to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox one generation the opportunity to experience what I consider to be one of the most rich and fulfilling worlds that we saw in the last generation of games and for anyone to be given the opportunity to play Bioshock on their console of choice, that's a win in my book, so I'm glad that this thing is more than likely going to come out. So there you guys have it, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did drop me a like down below and comment what you think about this box art right here, and also the Bioshock collection itself, are you going to be purchasing it on the Xbox One or Playstation 4, did you play through the games before on the Xbox 360 or the Playstation 3, or even the PC, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and if you are new to the channel or you've never seen any of my other content, I do upload new stuff like 3 or 4 days a week depending on the week, and I do stream live on twitch.tv slash prettychillguy311 every single Saturday night, so be sure to follow me over there. But as for right now, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video. I'm going to go play some Bioshock right now because I am feeling it. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.